slightly hypothyroid, but she also has a lot of runny nose and sneezing. So I'm going to take a look inside her nose and let's see what her nose findings are. This is a turbinate. You can see some slight allergy changes. There's a lot of space in her nose. I'm going all the way back and we swallow. Yeah, so now we can see that the swallow, you can see the eustachian tube opening. One of the things that we do for patients with allergy to identify what are the allergic to is a test called skin prick test, SPT. So we go to an allergy specialist who is skin prick test coming. Hi, my name is Dr. Jagdish Chaturvedi. I'm an ENT surgeon and with me we have Ms. Shreya over here who uh, is basically uh, sharing that she's slightly hypothyroid but she also has a lot of runny nose and sneezing. So I'm going to take a look inside her nose and let's see what her nose findings are. So, so when we go inside her nose, I am just using a long zero degree camera and please breathe from your mouth straight. Yeah. The reason why I ask you to breathe from mouth so that there is no fog, don't move your head back, it's nothing happening. Alright, so this is a turbinate, you can see some slight allergy changes. There's a lot of space in her nose, I'm going all the way back and you please swallow. Yeah, so now we can see that with the swallow, you can see the eustachian tube opening. There's a lot of space on this side and let's go here. Here also we can see, this one is the first pass where we're going along the floor of the nose all the way back into the nasopharynx and getting yeah, a swallow from yeah. there you go, one Slightly blurred because of the uh, secretions that have come onto the camera. We dab it over here. And we do the second pass very gently and look at the middle turbinate. You can see that's the middle turbinate and the uncinate process over there. Slight superior deviation of the nasal septum. If you look on this side also, you can see the middle turbinate, another superior de uh, deviation and the uncinate process. This is where the middle turbinate and the ethmoid drain and the frontal sinus will be up over here behind the middle turbinate. See on this side as well. So, fairly normal looking uh, nasal cavity, uh, but uh, there are some allergic changes because of which you have sneezing. But right now, there is enough space, so it's not going to have any nose blockage in here. How long is that? So, sneezing because of your uh, irritation that your body has, your nose has to certain structures around. So one of the things that we do for patients with allergy to identify what are the allergy to is, is a test called skin prick test, SPT. So we go to an allergy specialist who is skin prick test karenge, where they basically take about an array of 40 to 45 allergens, they prick onto your skin intradermally and they look for a redness sada hoti hai. So you come to know the common allergens, it could be dust mites, it could be uh, some animal fur, it could be pollen, it could be a lot of these things. Early morning sneezing this of carrying mostly relates to uh, you know uh, dust in the bed or on the room in the room when somebody is cleaning it. And sneezing that you are telling which happens after taking a bath is more vasomotor, not allergic. It is because when you take a hot water bath, there's a lot of blood flow into the nose. Just generally after the bath when you come. Yeah, or when I wake up and after taking the bath. Then it could be some, something in the towels or in some sort of clothes or dust that is settled down. It goes more in favor of uh, that. Evening or uh, sneezing more in the evening or outside could be more related to dust. Early morning, midnight sneezing can be related to pollen. So when you do a skin prick test, it tells you what are you allergic to. Uske baad hum log treatment karte hain sublingual immunotherapy slit where we find out what you're allergic to and give you small dose of that allergen over a period of two to three years sublingually under your tongue. It's short of shorter tablets to form that uh, drops of the allergen. Your body starts accepting it and that is the only cure for allergy. Otherwise, all the other anti-allergy medications are only symptomatic relief. So since you have this only occasionally and it is not causing too much of problem, no headaches and sinusitis, a salt water wash in the morning is good enough for you at the moment for the nose. Yeah, salt water wash will just clean out the most of the secretions and it should be fine. That option you can take as advice and we'll review after three months. Years will take a look. So since there are no complaints with the ears, I don't expect to see anything abnormal. But since there is allergy in the nose, uh, we can take a look at the ear and see what we find. The ears are absolutely normal. This is a normal looking ear drum. No problem.
This is blur, it's actually very clear. That is a weird term. You can see reflection of light. Okay. You might be expecting it looks more pink, right? But the ear drum is normally grey, 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 white, and grey. You see, there's also fairly normal design, so it looks the same. So, for now, I think you can just uh, continue with your therapy. Um, no, 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 you're wrong. No problem. ठीक है, तो आप उसको बस कंटिन्यू कीजिए, बाकी सब आपके एलर्जी के लिए मैं एक चीज ऐड कर देता हूँ, सॉल्ट स्प्रे तो मैंने बोला था, सॉल्ट स्प्रे, मोस स्प्रे, टू कप इन द मॉर्निंग, टू कप इन द नाइट और वन वीक। इससे अगर आपको इम्प्रूवमेंट होती है तो आपको कंटिन्यू कर सकते हैं, जस्ट सलाइन वाटर सॉल्ट वाटर स्प्रे। Alright.